Nifty is seeing some bit of uh, you know choppiness this morning. It's because of the global headwinds coming our way, but nothing substantial. I mean, I was looking at Gift Nifty at around 8 8 30 this morning, a 150 point cut it was indicating, but the opening was rather uh, you know the opening was better, much better. In fact, we re did reclaim 21 700 in the morning trade itself, uh, but uh, we are currently trading with uh, some bit of cut, you know. So, what are the key support and resistance levels you are tracking, sir? Hi, Suresh. First of all, very good morning to you and to all the viewers and always a pleasure to be here. Well, you know, to play the devil's advocate here, uh, honestly speaking, I would have liked that 100, 150 point cut in the in a gap down opening itself. I'll tell you why. Uh, the index would then have come to the support zones of 20 to 600. Now, we are seeing that support zone of 20 to 600, 20 to 500. Uh, you know on the nifty and you know if we did open it around that uh, level then perhaps the uh, downside from there on would have been limited and the risk reward ratio would have been favorable in the uh you know in the favor of uh, long positions and you know buy trade but that didn't happen uh you know the nifty opened a little lesser than that and you know, then scaled up so 20 to 700 is actually a consolidation zone if you see the uh, you know call and put options data for the next week expiry then you'll find that you know this strike price has the maximum open interest on both sides call and put so then there's a possibility that the nifty could consolidate you know give or take about 50 to 70 points on either side uh, for uh, today or even for the coming days so hence you know that gap down perhaps would have been nice and the opportunity in some way was lost uh, you know when we opened a little higher than that now that said my overall sense on the nifty you know is that it's a buy on dips as you also said in your opening comments uh, we had the target of 22,800 in our advisory service on the nifty for all practical purposes we were there uh, 20 to 775 was the high. Now, from here on, the bias remains positive, but uh, you know the momentum seems to be lacking. And if I look at the weekly chart, there is you know a double peak, a negative RSI divergence which is playing out, which is suggesting that uh, perhaps there could be some profit booking around the corner. But then let's not find the you know fight the trend. 20 to 500, 20 to 600 remains you know uh, you know a support zone in the near term. Any dip closer to that, we'll consider that as a buying opportunity. Again, for targets of 20 to 800. All right. Also, want to get your view on Bank Nifty. I mean, what a stellar run the banking index has been on in the last uh, four weeks. I mean, from March 20th low, the index has rallied close to 3,000 points. We are once again in uncharted zones for Bank Nifty, but 49,000. We are facing some bit of resistance over there. Even this morning, trading with a cut of about uh, half a percent. Uh, Kush, what's the view there? Can you know the rally continue in Bank Nifty, and can we get to that magical number of 50,000? Uh, incidentally, that is our uh, you know target for the bank Nifty in our advisory services. So we believe that in the next, uh, let's say a month, maybe a little more, you know, the bank Nifty could perhaps reach to that level. Uh, in fact, from the level of forty six thousand five hundred, you know, uh, just about where the Nifty uh, made its bank Nifty made its uh, bottom at least on a closing basis, uh, we were recommending a buy trade because there was a very clear catch up rally that was to play out in the bank Nifty. We are so glad to see that it did. Uh, forty nine thousand was. Scaled. Not a bad idea to see some sort of profit booking, some sort of uh, uh, you know a dip in the bank Nifty, which will provide a good risk reward uh, ratio from you know if someone wants to go uh, you know go long from a fresh capital addition perspective. So 48,400 remains a good support zone. Any kind of dip towards that, and as long as that is held, you know we would perhaps consider you know buying. The target will remain 49,200 and then eventually 50,000. Remember, these are positional levels that we're talking about. So this dip is actually a welcome one. A lot of banking names haven't really performed for a while. And, you know, this move uh, that we're seeing in the heavyweight is actually a very healthy move. So overall, mm. Bank Nifty, we believe that, you know, the upside is still there and 50,000 is a very convincing target. Good morning, Kush. While buy on dips may be the order of the day, it seems to be cash out time at Phoenix Mills. This share prices, if we see in the last one year, have surged almost 140%. Uh, distance from the 52-week high is a big zero. They, they crossed it. They're slightly down today. Morgan Stanley has maintained its bullish stance of overweight on the this, on this script. Their consumption figures for Q4 rose 27%. Gross retail year-on-year -year rose 37%. Is it cash-out time on Phoenix Mills, Kosh? Well, uh, you know, it depends on your time horizon. If you were in this from a trading perspective, then I would say yes, because the kind of run that the stock has seen is stellar. But if you're in this for the long haul, 
then it's not a bad idea because they're quite bullish on the entire reality play. Uh, you know, see, you see a lot of uh, names performing well. Uh, perhaps there is some sort of a consolidation. Here too, you might see the stock consolidating for some time. But other than other than that, there is no structural uh, damage. While we're in the overheated territory on the monthly uh, segment, if you, if, you see, if you see the weekly and the daily chart, they're still very much comfortably, you know, in the uh, you know in the in the comfortable momentum zones where the stock could perhaps inch higher. So 3250, 3400 are very reasonable targets. So my suggestion would be, if you were in this from a trading perspective, take some money off, you know, book 50% profit, hold the rest for levels of 30 to 50 and 3400. But if you're in this for the long haul, then continue to hold on. There doesn't seem to be any kind of a, a issue. Even if the stock dips to you know 2700 odd levels, which is a 50 day moving average, time and again we've seen the stock rebound from there. So uh, all in all, the view remains uh, bullish on Phoenix levels. Alright, and another stock we wanted to get your views on is Vedanta. I mean, it has been in the limelight lately, right? The stock has surged to a two-year high after CLSA upgraded the stock to a buy with a target price of 390. Now, CLSA expects Vedanta to benefit from the commodity upcycle considering its well-diversified portfolio. But Kush, for investors, I mean, the big problem with Vedanta has been the high debts debt on its books right and more importantly the ability to service that debt i mean they, they do plan to reduce uh, uh, the debt burden substantially at the parent level without taking any incremental debt at uh, you know with the indian listed entities but all that said the stock is in a clear uptrend it's up about 17 percent in the last five sessions about 45 percent year to date uh, what's your view on uh, you know on vedanta kush how is it looking on price charts Sure. So, see, everything that you mentioned around the stock is actually reflected in the price where you've seen, uh, you know, a fair degree of volatility. And for the most part, you know, of the last year, year and a half, the stock's been in a downturn. Now, we've seen some sort of a revival from, uh, you know, early October last year. And the move that we're seeing now is quite stellar and honestly a little exaggerated. So, my suggestion here would be to book profits and, uh, you know, take some money home. However, given the kind of setup that we are looking at and the stock, uh, you know, now trading at um, almost about a year and a half, 18 month kind of a high level, not a bad idea to consider buying on tips. Hmm. So there is a gap that, you know, the stock created at those, you know, 340 to 350 zones. Any kind of dip that comes around at that level should act as a entry point for fresh investors and fresh traders. For now, my suggestion would be to take some money home and, uh, you know, if this momentum does continue, ride it. For whoever wants to buy it fresh, perhaps 340 is a good level to consider buying. Right now, the stock is an overstretched territory. Might be some sort of a profit booking along the way. Book some, uh, but take some money home, book some profits on Vedanta and a long-term view on Phoenix. But what are your uh, picks for our investors today, Kush? Sure, a couple of them uh, and quite divergent sectors, you know, that uh, the picks are from today. What I mean by that is the power sector has been doing well, will continue to do uh, well. That's the broad expectation. If you see the likes of NLC India, you know, we had seen a breakout on uh, Wednesday. Today, the stock consolidating with a mild negative bias, but I think on the overall scheme of things, uh, 245, two, uh, you know, 249 are the target. 237 is a stop loss and the stock's trading close to that. But uh, you know, if someone is still keen to take this trade up, then I think 233 is also a level they can consider as uh, you know a stop loss because that's where a strong support zone lies. From uh, you know the other stock is from a sector which is now seeing a strong revival and that is RT Industries. The entire chemical space is seeing a very strong revival and this stock among the pack has been one of the leaders. Uh, while a lot of names have not really seen that kind of a convincing move, this stock has uh, you know has had a very clear breakout. So I think RT Industries from a target of you know five uh, seven fifty. 765, you know, uh, remains to be bullish on our radar. And 720 is, you know, a level where we would place our stop loss.